What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five things I wish I knew before deciding to become a software engineer. These are some of the things I wish someone would have told me when I was first starting out, and my hope is that they will be of some help to you wherever you are in your journey. So the first thing I wish I would have known is that it's more important to focus on the essential concepts rather than programming languages or specific technologies. When I was first starting out, I would often feel very overwhelmed, feeling that there were so many different languages and technologies out there that I would never have the time to learn them all. I've now come to realize that I was completely missing the point. There is still a lot to learn, but in the tech world, there are concepts that will always be relevant and patterns that will repeat themselves over and over again. Because of this, my advice to you would be that instead of stressing too much about which programming language to learn, just pick one you're interested in and focus on learning the essential concepts. These are things like variables, loops, functions, object-oriented programming, and data structures. If you focus your efforts on learning more of these essential concepts, then it'll become easier to learn new technologies and new languages as they often share a lot of things in common. Even though I don't think that you necessarily need a computer science degree to become a software developer, I am grateful for my degree because looking back, I feel like it did help give me direction and help me focus on learning the foundation, even though at the time I would often get distracted by feeling like I had to learn all these different languages and technologies all at once. That leads me to the second thing I wish I would have known, and that is to take your time. Becoming a software developer can be a lot. There are a lot of things to learn and it can get really overwhelming. Add to that the competitive nature of the tech field and you can often feel this pressure to keep up. Because of this, I would often get impatient in my learning and would want to go through things very quickly and jump from one thing to the next. That's why I really think it's important to be patient and to take your time. The things you learn now will often build up in complexity, so if you rush through the process, you will only be hurting your progress. All right, so the third piece of advice I wish I would have known is to learn by doing. Getting stuck in an endless loop of tutorials can be a very real thing. In the past, I would often rely a little too much on YouTube tutorials and Udemy courses. I think these resources can be tremendously useful and they do have their place, but it's important to be mindful with how you use them. I think the absolute best way to become a good software developer is to build things. So I would recommend that as you go through tutorials and take online courses, make sure to take the time to use what you are learning and try building things yourself. Applying this to my own learning has been hugely beneficial to me. This will really help cement the concepts you are learning and it'll also teach you how to look things up online, how to find answers in Stack Overflow, and know what to do when you encounter a problem which is a really big part of developing software. All right, so the fourth thing I wish I knew is that imposter syndrome is a real thing and you're not alone. When you're learning software development, it can be really easy to feel like an imposter. This is an ever-evolving field and there are so many different things to learn that it is impossible to keep up with everything. Because of that, it can be really easy to compare yourself with other people, their progress and their knowledge, and then undervalue your own progress and feel inadequate in some way. When I was first starting out, especially as a freshman in college, I wish someone would have told me that this is a really common thing to feel and a lot of other developers feel this way too. I think it's really important to remember that being a developer is about embracing an ever-evolving and constant learning process and to celebrate your own progress wherever you are in your learning. All right, so the fifth thing is that I think it's really important to take breaks and to have balance. This is one of the things I struggle with the most as a software developer. When I'm working on a project and have to solve a specific problem, I often get this feeling that I can't stop working until I do. I assume it'll take less time than it actually does, and then I end up working and looking at a computer screen more than I should, and you become less effective. I think it's important to remember that the code will be there when you get back, and it's way better and more effective to solve the problem rested and with a clear head. Developing software can be pretty mentally taxing and it can be easy to burn out, so I think it's important to stay mindful about having balance, taking breaks, staying active, and spending time with family and friends. I definitely still struggle with this, but I'm trying to stay mindful of these things and remember that they are important. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Those are the five things I wish I knew before becoming a software developer. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Leave a comment down below so that I can know what your thoughts are. Like the video if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.